A man in a canoe has died after falling into the Indian River. A good Samaritan says he did all he could to save him, but he could not reach him in time. News Six's Lauren Cervantes is live in Brevard County where the man's body was pulled out of the water. Lauren. Ginger, a man has died. He drowned in this spot right here in the Indian River. Crews saw him. They were construction in the area, and they say he'd be out here every day fishing on his boat. They tried to save him but could not get to him in time. A man fought these waters this morning, trying to stay afloat. But the canoeist drowned in the Indian River. We heard somebody yelling, so we tried to figure out who it was, and then looked over and seen the man had flipped out of his canoe. The construction crew working in the area saw it all happen and rushed to help. We're going to throw the buoy out to him, but he ended up not being able to catch it. After being underwater for about 15 to 20 minutes, rescuers pulled him out from this spot. Jim Ross is a charter boat captain and was here as rescue efforts were underway. He even tried helping. If my units were, was working better I, uh, uh, and I didn't have to fiddle with it, I, I think I could have gotten to him a little sooner. At about 10.30 this morning, FWC received a call for a boater in distress at Indian River and SR 520. Several agencies responded, including FWC, Brevard County Sheriff's, and Coco PD. The canoeist was underwater about 15 to 20 minutes. They got a diver over there and they actually got him down in the water and pulled the guy out and they were performing CPR on him. They got him up on the deck of the, the rescue boat. They're performing CPR on him the entire time from there till they got him all the way back to the shoreline. But the canoeist was taken to Rockledge where he was pronounced dead. Deputies say there wasn't any visible damage to the canoe and life vests were on board. That charter boat captain I spoke with says that these waters can get very cold to the point that someone could easily get exhausted if they're trying to tread water and stay afloat. He says that's why life vests are so important. In Brevard County, I'm Lauren Cervantes, Getting Results News 6.